stop. Take three couples who love to entertain. Yes. 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 Can you please explain what you're right. going to do with that carrot? Because I'm not. <laughs> no, <laughs> to the minute. Ask each to throw a dinner party for the other two. Yeah, she's a big girl. She needs yeah. many more balls than that. Yeah, dinner. I do. <laughs> and ask each pair to score in secret. I think it's worth probably 16, 17. No, absolutely no chance. Today. Oh. Oh. Now you do not stop. You keep going. Sparring. I couldn't find the coconut oil, so you think you might have thrown it away. Mm. Spluttering. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, it was I'm glad I didn't it was have awful. And a bit of sauce. Oh, oh my word! I had to pick my jaw up off the ground. My gob has never been so <laughs> smacked. As the couples compete to win a thousand pound prize. It was beans. <laughs>
no matter how many chefs you have on the TV, it's not happening. Good job you're getting Asian food tonight, then. It was Rachel's idea My to choice. do the dessert. And to be honest, I was not consulted on this at no, all. You Rachel squeezes out coconut cream and adds coconut milk. Over a third, Yeah, yeah just it. over a third. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Steady on. <laughs> Can you put it in the fridge? Are you sure this hasn't gone off? Shut it's up. Out. Just put it in the fridge. Strange. Shut up. Just put it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Milk. 50 mils in there. That's... I thought I wasn't going to to do anything. I need cream. There's cream in the yeah. fridge, I think please. check that, because I haven't weighed it. What? I said, I just said I haven't weighed it. How do you know how much is in there now? <laughs> what is ridiculous, Rachel? More cream and vanilla are added to who knows how much milk and heated with eggs, sugar and coconut to thicken. It's, like, really thin. I think it's your fault. What? It's my fault? <laughs> yeah. Did you put too much milk in it? No, 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 you put too much milk in it. Now, now, maybe just add a bit more coconut. Oh, that's much thicker. The ice cream's left to freeze and it's on to Rachel's main. Thai prawn curry. Oh, that sounds like, nice. Yeah, I like, yeah, I, I like do curries. like the sound of that. Yeah, me too. I love prawns. I love prawns. prawns. We love curry and the Thai combination is always to us a good combination. And it'll be combined with rice from the Asian food store. Since it's a Thai curry, probably we need fragrant rice. Lovely. It's got a little, little nice little elephant on it. You've got prawns already. Don't yeah, you? but they're much more impressive. Yeah, yeah. What? How much is that? Nine pounds. Farm raised no. in China. Ooh, nine pounds. Yeah. Oh no no no! Put that back. <laughs> we've got we've got prawns. <laughs> Little, uh, don't need teapot. put it down. It's really I sweet. think we've got enough of these already. <laughs> put it back. I'll get it to the checkout quick smart. Anakto no namaiwa. Oh, you picked up more than souvenirs in Asia. Jason? Oh. Ah, Jason. <laughs> See you again. Bye. Sayonara. Bye. Bye, Jason. Thank you. Pleasure. Back in the kitchen, Rachel's taking the reins. I'm in charge of this dish and I'm going to instruct Mark what to do. So he has to be the chief vegetable chopper. She fries ingredients for the red curry paste, including ginger, garlic and chilli, then adds passata and coconut milk. Have you done carrots? Oh. What do you mean? I did... Oh, not more stuff. Rachel blends the red curry sauce, ready to be stir-fried with veg and prawns tonight. Yeah. I'm excited about it. I'm also a bit nervous. Why are they better than us? Because we're going to win. Well, yeah, so why are you nervous? <laughs> yeah, okay. Wait. I would say that menu, I don't know, I don't want to see. It's sad to someone who haven't got Much time. good cooking skills. My opinion. Oh! Well, the hosts have managed to get their coconut ice cream to set. Mmm, that's really nice. Prep done, there's time for a quick change. Are you ready? I reckon we're going to win. This is it. We're going to win. And a new hat. I think I preferred the last one. I'll have the cloth and you do the door. You can't do things and leave me doing nothing. No, I can't. Give me the cloth. No, you can't do it. Oh, what do you mean I can't? I do most of <laughs> the cleaning in the house, as it is. Sister. Oh, saved by the door. Sister. First to arrive are sisters Sue and Joyce. Hello. 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 Sorry, I'm freezing cold. Oh, it's all right. Come on in. Come on through. Thank you. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Hi, Sue. Hi, nice Hi, to meet Sol. you. Pink wall! <laughs> right, can I get you a drink? Uh, yeah. Could I... What have you got? Mango margaritas. I'm teetotal. Are you? OK. Well, I've got mango juice. That's fine. Oh, mango juice Mango is juice. Lovely. OK, I'll go and get the drinks. Lovely. Thank you. Joyce and Sue have just arrived. Joyce and Sue, they're a couple, I have no idea if they're a couple. I'm not. So... And then um, they have... they seem very pleasant. Hi, so... Sue. Come by Hi. Hello there. Come by That means, uh, good evening in Japanese. Name. Mark, My name is Mark. Mark. Sparky Marky, they call me. Sparky Marky Mark. You're an electrician? Yeah, Sparky. No, I'm not an electrician. <laughs> Sparky I'm not an electrician. When I first met Mark, I thought, Wacky. Mark's a, a bit, bit of a character, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, bit way out. Yeah. Flowery shirt, bright coloured jeans and the hat. And an open flowery shirt. Oh. I don't like open shirts. No. Last in, it's lovebirds, Philippe and Trish. Oh, hello. Good evening. Welcome. Hi. My name's Hi. Trish. Hi, Trish. Nice How to meet you. you. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi. Hi. Philippe. Nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Philippe. Nice to meet Philippe. You sound French. I am French. Oh. Well done, Cluso. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right. French Philippe. Yeah. French Philippe. <laughs> I didn't expect a French one to be turning up, so that's good. Ça va très bien, merci. Oh, bonjour. What do you think, then? 
I don't know. Also, um, I feel a bit relieved, actually, that there's not any young, trendy... Do you? ...attractive people. Charming. Unfortunately, my French is better than my Welsh. Me too. So I know for some very odd reason, I know how to say... And I'm probably going to say this wrong now. Tiwidi Cal Flombola. And do you know what that means? No idea. I've got no idea. I just about had a belly full. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Already? Done. Coming up, Sneaky Sisters. Would you look in somebody's diary? I was a bit embarrassed because this is kind of my private life. I kind of. thought it provided good oh, entertainment. Oh, yeah, good entertainment <laughs> for you. And comedy balls. Coconut balls. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Here's everybody. It's night one in Cardiff and Newport, where three duos are competing to throw the best dinner party. And tonight, married couple Rachel and Mark are hoping to impress with their Asian-themed menu. But they're already concerned about Gallic guest Philippe. I know how critical French people are, Rachel. So he seems really pleasant, so there's yeah, no problem. Yeah, he's very pleasant, yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> remember we lived with a Frenchman once? We did, but then... And how did that end up? Mm. Disaster. They threw us out. Bodes well. Well, Mark cracks on with his Japanese starter. Lovebirds, Philippe and Trish grab a minute alone. Stinky breath. Yeah, it was a bit. Upstairs, siblings Sue and Joyce have a route around the study. It's a dying room. Dog, can we look in somebody's diary? Would you look in somebody's diary? She's read yours. Four. Twenty. Six. Five. Six. That can I be. Can't, I can't even begin to imagine what it would be. I think it's a man thing. It's awful small writing, though. There's just way better things to do in life than spend all that time yeah. filling in a diary, living in the past. Yeah. Live in the present, live in the now. Right, should we write something in here? What should we write in here? Something nice. Should... Hang on, I'm not going to like this. Good luck for the rest of the night, but we, we are, are going, going to win! win. <laughs> yes. Downstairs, the avocado tuna and crab stick sushi get a final tweak. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Looks OK. OK. As good as it's going to get. California rolls! We weren't sure, to be honest, if you in would like sushi or not, so fingers crossed. They don't look convinced. In Japan, they say before they eat, Itadakimasu. 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 I'll try Bian Philippe. Not my stuff at all. Not the kind of stuff I'd like to buy and I even like to eat in the restaurant. You know, it'd be too dry for me. Mm -hmm. A lot of thought went into them. They made them themselves, so I, I enjoyed what I had. It's, I'll um... admit, I've never eaten sushi. I've always thought there's no way I'd eat that. <laughs> so this is going to be Quite an experience. Oh, come on, I love this. Oh. Oh. Not for you. Oh, I hated the sushi. It was awful. And if you thought that was bad, I do you think you could pass me the wasabi, please? Not too pungent. I, I think it put depends too much on, on what. Though. Not that much. It's mostly. Uh, I'm mostly. Oh, Mark medic. did warn you. Medic. Wasabi. What wasabi. Was we that? that again. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it was. I'm glad I didn't. It was have awful. Me. I'll stick to the soy sauce. <laughs> <though>. <laughs> Moving on, attention turns to romantic couple Philippe and Trash. We've been together, is it two years? Is that mm, right? Just under four years. Four years, is it? Four years, yeah. And we only got married one, nine months ago. Oh. Oh. So yeah. you're, you're still on your honeymoon period. Yeah. 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 That's <laughs> nice. I think they're quite romantic. Yeah. And they've only been married for nine months. So they're you're only saying that because he's a Frenchman. Trish seems different to Philippe, I, I find. I wouldn't put them together. No. She's much quieter. Yeah, she much, is. Much, much yeah. quieter than Philippe. Actually, you yeah. might like to consider what relationship we have. I wouldn't like to may, make a preconceived You judgment. may have been together a long time and just grown to look like <laughs> each other. <laughs> <laughs> we are sisters. But we, are, we are also absolute best friends. Best she friends. is my best friend. <laughs> Sue and Joyce are a little bit different. I think, you no, know, I think they're great. I do think they're great in their own little ways. Read that as you will. Hopefully they'll appreciate Rachel's main course more than Mark's sushi. I couldn't find the coconut oil. Why do you think that might have been? Well, I was, I was cleaning up. So you think you might have thrown it away? OK, so if this curry doesn't go down very well... That's not the reason, <laughs> because you can't oil. blame it on a little bit of coconut oil. Welcome to my world. A coconut oil-free one. Rachel adds red curry sauce and prawns to the veg, and it's ready. Thai prawn curry. It's a fantastic chilli already. It's actually curry, quite curry. spicy. It's just don't like mm. the sweet corn, you know. Oh, I don't like, like sweet corn. 
I just had a couple of prawns and no veg. It wasn't a very good balance, but I enjoyed what I had. I like to have a napkin on the table and a glass of water available. Mm. But the fact that the plate was not preheated, to me, it's like a, it's a turn off. Mm. It's a detail, but we're fussy. Yeah. Gosh, yes, here I go again. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Sorry. No a really sensitive tongue. <laughs> nice flavours on the on the curry, I have to say, very yeah, nicely. I and the prawns that. were beautiful. Just out of interest, and what would be your favourite kind of foods? I like Italian, because I oh, love right. Italian. Yeah. <laughs> Italy's mm. our favourite country. I think we go to Italy quite a lot. Mm. I love Italy. Yeah, I love mm. Italy so much. Mm. I've travelled all over the world. I've travelled to India, to China, to Taiwan, to everywhere. I love, we love Italy. I love the culture. I don't know, I'm, I'm very much a uh, European man. I prefer the, 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 the Latin culture to the Anglo-Saxon culture. And I do. Although Anglo-Saxons weren't in Wales. I think uh, Philly no, was no, a no, little no, bit no, opinionated. No. He wasn't an overbearing, bombastic French person, but it was still all Philippe. It was still all his view. I struggle with all of this. I mm. struggle with all of it. Why do you want to go somewhere else? I love Wales. I love living in Wales. I do like going on holiday. Yeah. But I like coming home again. So if I go on holiday and the weather's lovely and hot and I'm lying on the beach and I'm thinking, wouldn't it be nice to run a bar here? No, it wouldn't, actually, because mm. this is a holiday and this is mm. not the reality. I think Sue feels a little bit left out about our conversations of travel. Too close-minded, you know? Very Welsh. And Sue's also intrigued by the not-so-secret diary of Mark, aged 50 and three-quarters. Oh, How long ah. have you been doing diaries? I started there? it when I was 18. Whoa. And have you kept a diary up ever Every since? day. I've never missed a day. It's kind of like just become part of my life, really. It's really? It's like having a shave. There's a little number on each page, um, and we were quite intrigued by what it could be. So, we number five? Know. <laughs> so five, that means that day's got a five out of ten, which means it was a kind of average day. It's all six and fives. Didn't get any better. <laughs> no. It was just all six and fives. Perhaps if he stopped the diary, he'd have ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The diary thing is a bit odd. <laughs> a bit mm. random, you know. Uh, it's not my thing. I was a bit embarrassed because it's kind of like my, my private life. Really? Um, yeah, a little bit, I think. I, I thought think. it provided good oh, entertainment. Oh, yeah, good entertainment <laughs> for you. Yeah, it was me, the laughing stock. No. <laughs> Sorry. Tonight's exotic theme is completed with Rachel's homemade coconut ice cream and a garnish of chocolate sprinkled coconut balls. I don't like ice cream that much. Oh, don't you? And coconut is my thing. You're not a dessert person, then? No, I would have a piece of cheese. I don't think we're in. Situation we could have made our own cheese. <laughs> 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 One of the balls. Right. Yeah. Balls are coconut balls. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 you can't get me ball out of the ball. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Scores out of 20, please. The ice cream was quite nice. I had a big, big lump of ice in mine, but other than that, it Did was you? okay. Oh. Tonight, the, the, the evening was lovely, very fun, good company, lots of love, but the food didn't rock my boat at all. What do you reckon, 15, do you think? Oh, I don't know, I think that's a little bit high. So we score at 12. Do's. Tonight, Tonight we're, we're going, going to give, give Rachel, Rachel and Mark, Mark a 14. And that gives Rachel and Mark a total of 26 out of 40, with two nights to go. You should be recommended. You mean congratulated? Well done. Congratulations. That's better. <laughs> Ooh. It's day two in Cardiff and Newport, and the turn of thick as thieves sisters Sue and Joyce to play host at Sue's Gaff. I'd like to think that the yeah. guests would think the menu was poshed up, but we don't really know what they're used to, so, I mean, this is poshed up for us. Basic food, poshed up, hopefully. Yeah, it is, yeah. Is they might have an food? advantage because they're two women, and they're two quite wily women. Uh, I'm expecting kind of a traditional Welsh Possibly British food on a table, good, good wholemeal food, stodgy, heavy, and that kind of stuff, you know, winter food. Optimistic then, and that's if Sue and Joyce get round to cooking instead of gossiping about rivals Philippe and Trish. What do you think he's going to be like tonight? I don't know. I'm hoping that what he'll do is let Trisha, thank you, <laughs> come out a bit and shine a little bit more, because we didn't see much of her. Do you we? know what? That's why you couldn't remember her name. Yeah. <laughs> because he, he yeah. took yeah. over, didn't he? And she yeah. didn't have much of a chance. Enough chatting. You've got a dessert to make. A poshed-up version of a classic. Summer pudding. Mm. 
I'm going to be a pain again. I just don't like that type of pudding. I guess it's bread, white bread, stuffed with red fruit. I like summer pudding, though. I, I'm looking forward to In that. In the winter? Any time of the year. But if you like it with cream, you might be disappointed. I can't find the cream. I can't see it in this fridge. I thought everything went in that one. Well, it's not in here, Joyce, and I bought it. I was with you. Well, it's not there now. I'm feeling really frustrated. It's a terrible start, and I can't believe I've forgotten something as basic and as essential as cream. You could just go to the shop. It's not going to go downhill. Just don't... Don't even go there. Sue soaks sponge fingers in raspberry and apple juice before stuffing the mould with summer fruits and improvising with squirty cream. There you go, see? Yeah, I don't know why I panicked. You didn't see yourself, girl. <sighs> I think I rescued it. It's not as good as I would have liked, but I still think it's going to be nice. The pudding's left to chill and will be served tonight with a strawberry coolie. Next, the main. Meatballs in a spicy tomato sauce with tagliatelle or spinach and ricotta cannelloni for pescatarians Rachel and Mark. Fantastic. Well, there you go. That sounds I great. didn't expect Italian. I thought it would wow. be very British. First up, the meatballs made with crushed crackers. Very Italian. And seasoned mints. Don't do regular shapes. Just do different sized No. Meatballs. No, they've got to be regular. Kind of regular, I suppose. I do a lot of meatballs, but mine are so beautifully made that I'm concerned. The balls will be simmered in a spicy tomato sauce tonight. Because of my Italian background, I'm hoping that they will make the tagliatelle fresh. Looks like you're in luck. Never made pasta before, so this is going to be a bit scary. Always shop-bought pasta, but there's a first time for everything. Brave, but a posh touch. Sue adds eggs to flour and mixes by hand. This is weird. Do you want me to turn the bowl rather than you trying no, to move the body? No, leave me alone. All right. Stop stressing me. I'm not. It's just been a nice you experience. Are. It's, it's all... weird. Is it? It's seriously weird. A bit like your kneading technique. Don't press it down into the work surface, because you're breaking it. I'm not. I'm kneading it together. I'm not breaking it. I'm kneading it together, woman. The finished dough is shoved through the pasta machine. Uh, uh... Well, there's some tagliatelle shapes right. there. Right. Tell you what, put it on a closed dryer rack to let it separate out. The pasta is left to air and it'll be cooked later along with the spinach and ricotta cannelloni. So it's on to the starter. Stuffed mushrooms. I like, you mushrooms, like mushrooms, but you're not yeah. massively keen on mushrooms, are you? You always say they're boring. Full of disease. Never like the big, big mushroom who becomes to be soggy, watery and test list, but you need to stuff it with a lot of good stuff, you know, to make it exciting. I'm having to put a little bit of a twist on it, so I'm doing a cheesy bean one for the vegetarian. Pescatarians, actually, and that does sound exciting. First of all, I've never done a cheesy bean mushroom, so it could be absolutely awful, for all I know. Look forward to that. The cheesy bean concoction will be created tonight, so Sue cracks on with the meat filling using posh pancetta and breadcrumbs. I need the time next, Joyce, please, Sue. It is now... Ah, ha, 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 ha. Sue fries chopped mushrooms and onions. Very much feeling the pressure. How much time do you want? An extra hour. <laughs> Time to get a new joke, I think. The fried flat mushrooms are stuffed with pancetta mix and left to cool. That's all we can do till they arrive. Apart from a quick glam up. Thank you, big sis. That's OK, little sis. Big sis and little sis are ready for action. Come on, let's Come on, go. Man. We've got an absolutely fabulous menu. Yeah. Let's get back in Let's it. do it. First rivals to the door are Philippe and Trish. Hi, hello, come on in. Salam. Bien, merci. Très bien. We've cooked all day, oh. and it's been interesting. We have done things we've never done before, <laughs> and you are definitely our guinea pigs. Oh, that sounds oh. ominous. <laughs> no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like to be a guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> you mean? Uh, hopefully we won't poison you, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Bet you can't wait now. And the next guinea pigs to arrive are Rachel and Mark. Oh, hi. Nice peach trousers go well with the hat. Hi. Hi. Lovely to see you again. Hi, <laughs> Hi, so how are you? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Coming up, snail tails. How would you kill them? Boil them? You, 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 no, you sold them to death and they just... Oh, 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 oh. doesn't make me see them in a different light. Um, snails, French people, French people, snails. And gobsmack guests. <laughs> oh, what do you say? <laughs> oh, la la. You had to pick my jaw up off the ground. My gob has never been so <laughs> smacked. smacked. 
Night two in Cardiff and Newport, and sisters Sue and Joyce are hosting a dinner party for two rival couples. Yes. 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 And they're hoping to impress with poshed up versions of classic dishes. Five minutes. Those go in, yeah. those go on. While the hosts get going with the stuffed mushroom starter, Rachel and Mark peruse an old family photo. Sue looks so cute. Look at her quick. Um, oh, she's the baby of the family. Joyce is holding yeah, Sue's hand. It's almost sister. like motherly. Yeah. Yeah. No, so. and in the kitchen, the starter's getting a bit of TLC too. This is the one area that we probably haven't done much posh. Isn't well, it? I was actually thinking, could you sort of spice them up a bit? Is there anything that we could put in there? Or cut a bit of dill in there. Can't get posher than a bit of dill. Actually, chives, but just as novel. No, yeah. posh it up a bit. Posh it up a bit. <laughs> Never try Never. dill with baked beans, so it's it'll be um... very much an improv situation. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to try it either. No. <laughs> the beans are topped with matching orange cheese. Lovely. All ready for a quick grilling alongside pancetta topped versions. Here come the stuffed mushrooms. The bean ones are for lucky pescatarians, Rachel and Mark. Thank you. <laughs> it looks like the red beans. Beans. Big beans and cheese. I, I knew the big, I knew the big beans tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we were a little bit stumped for the vegetarian option. I have to be honest with the mushrooms, and so we thought of something beany. We decided to do a fairly simple baked bean, but we poshed it up with a bit of dill in it. May may start a trend. You never know. Dig in before it gets ah, cold. I thought, oh, that's beans on mushrooms. Joke, joke, joke. And then actually, I realised. Oh, it no, it, it is beans and mushrooms. And I thought, oh. It was beans. If they don't like them, I will It's an not interesting combination. <laughs> we thought that. We thought that. It reminds me of a, a, a technical <laughs> English breakfast. As expected, the, the mushroom starter was a disaster. I knew it from the start. I didn't like it. I'll tell you something that was a mistake, a very definite mistake, was the red Leicester on the top of the... <gasps> yeah, what? I don't quite... know what happened to that. It went, went a bit stringy. Um, no, yeah, no, yeah, plasticky, sort of, didn't it? Yeah, it did, didn't it? I was a bit surprised. Should have been an ordinary cheddar. Yeah. So, um, we saw a photograph of you. It was obviously a very retro photograph of you. <laughs> <laughs> you were really, really small. You look very maternal in that picture. I... When we were growing up, I practically brought Sue up. As she developed a character and became slightly more individual, she then asserted herself and became the boss. I am quite bossy naturally. <laughs> I think it's because I want things done now. Now, because there's something yeah. else to do. Does that so. cause conflict or is it OK? Mostly it's OK. Sometimes Joyce will go, well, I'm not doing it now. I think so. She's outspoken, lad, bossy, and, uh, and, I mean, I'm not a diplomat, but I think she's far worse than I am. On that note, on to the main. The Italian meatballs are simmered in spicy tomato sauce, while the cannelloni is baked for Rachel and Mark. Oh, hello, here comes Joyce. That's the man with the pasta. Exactly, it's the homemade tagliatelle. Talk about teamwork. Eh? He's looking good, isn't he? Yeah. The pasta's a little bit stuck together. Yeah, oh, it's a bit sticky. But I think, overall, I don't think we've done a bad job at all. I like your confidence. Here's Sue and Joyce's take on an Italian classic, meatballs on tagliatelle, or pescatarian-friendly cannelloni, also made with homemade pasta. I tell you now, it is fresh, homemade pasta. Oh, Never cool. made before. Well done. You made pasta. Meatballs on pasta, that's not party food. So that was a bit of a... The texture was... Not quite right to me for the pasta, but, you know, they, they did do a good effort. Not enough for me. It was tiny portion, two meatballs. Could have done with a lot more. Yeah, she's a big girl. She needs yeah. many more balls than that. Yeah, <laughs> I do. How's the cannelloni? It's lovely. Good. It's lovely. The pasta's homemade as well. Is there a reason that you need to spend a lot of time making pasta when it's just going to taste the same as... Normal yeah, pasta. Yeah, but Mark, to be fair, that pasta didn't taste the same because it was very thick in places and it was very, very chewy. The main wasn't too bad, was it? Looked, it? it looked like it went down OK. Yeah. I think they were quite impressed we made our own pasta. Yeah. We were impressed we, we made really our own pasta. We were impressed by it, yeah, <laughs> nobody else was. And that's not the first time Sue's tried something different. Beaten escargot, mm -hmm. I suppose. For me, that's quite bizarre and weird. Yeah, 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 it is adventurous. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And I did enjoy it, but I just had to keep saying to myself in my head, this is not a slug that goes along yeah. the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I, used to, I used to breed escargot. Breed snails? Yeah. Oh. And when my mother was ready for the, the snail 
lunch or whatever, we had to, we had to kill it. How'd you kill them? Boy, you, 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 know, you sold them to death. Oh, they died. Oh, they, they don't, it's not like... And them. you sold them to death. Oh, sold them! You it's like this conversation. <laughs> he's French. French have a special know, relationship with French, snails yeah, I know and we know this. Maybe it makes me see him in a, in a different light. The... It doesn't make me see him in a different light. Um... Snails, French people, French people, snails. Moving on, the summer pudding dessert should be less controversial. Well, the problem with dessert was I forgot to buy the cream. Does the cream hold it together, then? It does. It stabilises it and moulds it, so uh. it might collapse. Or maybe not. Well, that sounds good. It sounds like it's frozen a little bit. Somehow, in the fridge, it has frozen. Yeah. We'll class it as a frozen dessert, all right? It's only fruit. Won't kill them. That's right. Bluff your way through it. Slightly frozen summer pudding, anyone? Quite disaster. So much for bluffing. Hopefully it'll taste better than it looks. I can't <laughs> imagine why it wouldn't. So what, what, what are the disaster? Normal summer pudding only has fruit in it, but I layer mine with whipped cream. And unfortunately, I forgot to buy any cream. And the other thing is, I don't know what happened in my fridge, but this is very cold, if not frozen. Apart from that, it's perfect. The bread beat, I never understand that. Which is why I haven't done bread in this one. OK. Well, no. This one's sponge fingers. Mm. That's cold. <laughs> yeah. That's the frozen bit. <laughs> Sorry, I have my trust. Taxis! Dessert was a bit of a disaster, I would say. I would describe dessert tonight as a crash animal put into my plate. It'll gory. Absolutely gory. I think we've got to do a 16 17. Do you think? Yes, Why is that? Yeah, 16 well, 17. Why would you say 14 15? Uh, maybe I would give it 11. No. No? 11's a bit generous, I think. Do you think so? I do. We score a 10. 10. Tonight, Tonight Sue and Joyce, we're going to give you a 10. 10. So, Sue and Joyce scored just 20 out of 40, putting them out of the running for the prize. I think we've done a really good job, and I actually think we've got a chance of winning. I really do. Do you? Yeah, I really do. Oh, bless. It's the third and final day of our couples competition in Cardiff and Newport, and it's the turn of French foodie Philippe to show off his skills with a French-themed evening. Helped by Skivvy, I mean wife, Trish. Tonight I'm going to be the, the head chef, <laughs> not the cook, <laughs> and Trish is going to be the, the commie. <laughs> but she's really good anyway, and she follows orders. I'm very confident in Philippe's cooking. He is a really good cook. I mean, me not so good, but he is an excellent cook. So yes, I think the food, without a doubt, will be better. The only thing I'm really worried about tonight is some food that I'm just really going to struggle to try. I agree. I think it would be the sort of frog's legsy type of French food I don't like either. Trish looks like she means business. First up, the dessert, Il Flotant avec sauce caramel, of floating islands with caramel sauce. Floating islands. Floating islands of what? <laughs> mm. And where? Sort of fluffy, soft meringue in a caramel sauce. What, just, just a meringue? I think so, yeah. Philippe's first job is teaching Trish to stiffen egg whites with sugar. Uh, you do not stop. You keep going. That will do. That's fine. Philippe then poaches the meringue in hot milk. Can I put the next one in there? Oh, I want you. To, I want you to try one first with a timer. Oh, okay. If you don't mind. I'm in charge, yeah. Oh, go on, let her have a go. Gently, gently. Put the lid on. Try to put the spoon back in the in the water, please. He's a bossy chef, isn't he? Well, not too bad, really. I think it's pretty okay. She's so laid back and keeps a cool head, unlike me. Trish needs to be laid back. The meringues will be floated in creme anglaise tonight. <laughs> on to the main. Papier de pork avec sauce au vin blanc, stuffed pork in a white wine sauce, or cabillaud au poivron et sauce tomate. Black cod with sweet pepper and tomato sauce for Rachel and Mark. That sounds fine. What's a black cod? It's a cod that's black. <laughs> Just the skin, actually, but it's now skinless. French food has a lot more to offer than what we got this week. This week was disappointing. Trish slices pepper and tomato for the sauce. I always get the chopping for the sauces and the peeling. That's my job, yeah. The veg goes in a pan to cook down and simmer. Stir, stir, stir. While Philippe coats cod fillets in a breadcrumb and herb crust. I, I never consult Trish, ever. You trust me. I she, do. She, she completely 
completely. No matter, she we trusted me. Guard ready to cook later, Philippe moves on to the pork. I like the soda. Like Depends what it's stuffed with, I suppose. True. But it sounds nice. Trish has been promoted to trussing up sausage meat in pork. Look at that. Philippe then fries the pork parcels and makes a sauce with white wine, fried veg and veal stock. He'll simmer it all together tonight. That's it. Not yet it isn't. They're off to the florist for some blooms to brighten their love nest. Philippe always buys me flowers every week. They're very special to me. It's something we've always done. Thank you. Very kind. Thank you. You remember the flower. Beautiful, elegant, smelly. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> should have quit while you were ahead, Philippe. Just the start of the go, on the Evo fromage, chicory in a cheese sauce. Never eaten chicory. I've never wanted to eat chicory. And I probably find I won't want to eat it again. But who I knows? Know. I'll try it. It's very, very much a French dish. It's so easy. Yeah. I made the cheese sauce and you take care of the, of the, of the steaming. Yeah. You need to cut them in half before they cook. Do you? Yeah, because when they cook, they go boom, they go all over the place. That way or that way? No, the long, the long way, obviously. Chicory steaming, Philippe makes his cheese sauce by mixing flour and butter to make a roux and allows Trish to pour in milk. Go, gently. Go, 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 the whole lot. That's fine, thank you. To complete the sauce, he adds cheese, while Trish wraps the carnivore's version in ham. Make sure it's like a real straight. What angle would you like it? 90 degrees? <laughs> I think Trish is fighting back. It's all covered in sauce and grated cheese. That's French Emmental, is it? Yes, it's like French that. Emmental. Ready to be baked tonight, when Sue and Joyce reckon Trish will still be the wallflower. Philippe will be the controlling person. Even if Trish has an opinion or a view, I'm not sure it will be taken on board. I think they really have a wrong impression on me. They think I'm really quiet. Yeah, <laughs> they th really that's do. just so funny. They, they said, you are the, the quiet one, are you? And they'll have a bit of a shock tonight, yeah. I think, really. <laughs> a real shock. <laughs> Zuta Law, you weren't joking. Well, I didn't know French onion sellers wore makeup. Mm. <laughs> Good luck tonight, honey. Good luck tonight, darling. Keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. First to the soiree are Rachel and Mark. Oh, oh, bonsoir. 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 Oh, 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 look at this. Thanks, Thank you, Trish. You changed for the night. And over a new leaf. I'm you said, why didn't you warn me? I would have... <laughs> you would have what? <laughs> Clearly, Trish doesn't do that all the time, and it was part of the French theme. Um, I mean, yeah, it's totally cheesy. Totally cheesy and rather tasteless. It's rather a sexy <laughs> pad, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure what Sue and Joyce are going to make of this. You had to pick my jaw up off the ground. My gob has never been <laughs> so smacked. <laughs> yeah. Are you I, sure? I, yeah, I am. Seriously, I'm <laughs> shocked. <laughs> yeah. I think it was unnecessary. Yeah, Gotta ask, there. is this your normal evening attire? <laughs> yeah. This is what you change into when you go yeah. home from work? No, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised at their reaction to my outfit. I thought they'd be pretty shocked. I did say that all along. But I'm, hey, I'm into shocking. <laughs> Who knew? It's always the quiet ones. Yeah. It's the last night, so welcome to our lovely home. Thank you. And Santé. Santé. Hey. Let's all have a lovely time. Coming up, why was Joyce so shocked? Trish reveals all. You know nothing about that side of me. No. You actually know nothing. There's something else about me that you have no idea. And the winners are revealed. In second place is... Santé. Santé. It's the third and final night in Cardiff and Newport, where French-born Philippe and British wife Trish are intent on showing their rivals how it should be done with a French-inspired evening. And Trish's French attire has already raised eyebrows. Why was Joyce so shocked? I'm, well, they all think I'm the quiet one. Yeah, they, they did. They do. do. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> You're probably the worst one of many ever women I've ever met in my life. With a liking for surgical gloves. <laughs> You're the worst of them all. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a theme, I think. Yeah, so I noticed the photo. Hang on, I'm sure I can. I try hard enough. <laughs> 
It wasn't quite the same, was it? wouldn't work with me. <laughs> in the kitchen, the starter's baked and ready. Voila! Chicory in a cheese sauce with a non-ham version for Rachel and Mark. This is a, a, a French dish which we used as a boy, my mum to cook it for us. The main veg is what they call endive, which is in English chicory. Yeah. So you kind of sweet and bitter kind of veg. <laughs> it looks like a leek. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Is it? I haven't tasted it, but am I right in saying it tastes chicory tastes like um, aniseed? <laughs> no, that's fennel. No, that's fennel. I don't think she likes it. Oh, bitter. No. Ham and cheese, lovely. Oh, well, okay. A yeah. salad, lovely, but oh. not that, I'm afraid. <laughs> You're trying right as well. Here goes another one. That's a, oh. Lots of water. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh dear. I struggled, put it in my mouth and thought, oh god, I don't like the consistency and I still don't like the taste. Mm. Good. Like avocado. <laughs> <laughs> okay? mm. The thing is, it's contaminated the cheese because it's so bitter. I can. Like, I like the cheese bit. So and I was going to eat the cheese. But... You don't like it? No. The chicory was horrible. Bitter. And I hated it. Personally, I like the chicory. I really like to try new foods. One out of four is not bad. Actually, it is. That was a bit of a shock, but not so much of a shock because what we chose was very French, so it was a bit of a gamble. Back at the table, Sue's about to be more controversial than the chicory. There's no way I dress like that in front of other people. You I would can't. no way wear this to any other dinner party. You're very really kind of a yeah. shy person. Uh, yeah. Very quiet. Are there. you comfortable in what you're wearing tonight, uh, though, how, with how, us? How, how can you uh, say uh, you're a very shy yeah. person? <laughs> That's why I don't think it's it's pictures we see. My, my, my skirt is no shorter than Joyce's. <laughs> But I don't have pictures of myself the same way you have pictures but of yourself. In the that, that is something you do not know anything about. You know nothing about that side of me. No. You actually know nothing. There's something else about me that you have no idea. Are we going to find out? I do laundry modelling. All right. And it was a big step for me. So to, to do that, if you, would have, if you would have asked me a year ago, there was absolutely no way. Trish is much more confident than I gave her credit for. Quite fine with the fact that she models lingerie, if that's what she wants to do. It's great. I believe you. And Trish also likes declaring her love for her man. We value what we've got very much. Sometimes people might perceive that as almost an insecurity that mm. you need to say it all the time. Yeah. I never oh. feel I need to say anything mm. like that to Rachel. We don't bother, do we? No, we don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> Our relationship is completely different to Philippe and Trish's. We are um, quite independent. Um, single-minded. Rachel and Mark, you know, they met at 16. I don't think they got a clue. I really don't think they've got a clue on that. You know, it's a brother and sister relationship. Sacre bleu, you've come out your shell. Onto the main, and after a shaky starter, it needs to impress. Philippe simmers his stuffed pork fillets in white wine sauce and fries cod for Rachel and Mark. Yeah, oh, that's delicious, my little lady. Here are the mains, stuffed pork or black cod. The fish is, is a pure standard. You like that? It's mm. nice, yeah. Mm. Mm. The sauce is nice. I like this sauce. I like the cod. Flavour was good. I like the fact that it fell apart when you tasted it. Struggled a little bit to get the string off. Yeah, I'm doing that now. I did enjoy the, the pork. It was nice. I, I thought the pork, the flavour yeah. was lovely. I think we've learned something about ourselves with this experience. Obviously, people don't see us the way we feel we are. Um, well, that's interesting. In what sense? Some people think it, we're a bit over the top, maybe. Well, you did dress as a French maid. I have a feeling we won't stay in touch with Philippe and Trish. Not because we dislike them or whatever, but I think that they're so wrapped up in each other and self-contained and we're so busy, it just won't happen. For the last three days, we've been kind of forced to be together all the time. I realised that actually we should spend more time together. <laughs> we really should. Blimey, Philippe must be rubbing off on you. And with the main a hit, Philippe's also determined to impress with homemade caramel sauce for his dessert. Where's the, 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 the men? She's ladling your creme anglaise. I think in France we know how to do things right away. See, it's something fancy and different. Don't push it, Frenchie. We're done. Voilà, le pièce de résistance. Il flottante with caramel sauce. Floating islands. Ooh. This is impressive. Look Honestly. At this. Look at that. Okay, caramel is just fresh. It's not quite set yet, but it's a little bit fatty. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. It certainly gets you crunchy. Filling's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you find we were, it was like 
very noisy. It was the very crunch, 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 the crunch, crunch, crunch. Noisiest noisy. dessert table I think I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. Afraid for my fillings. Mm. I know about it. Take it out and put it on the side. The caramel nearly broke my fillings, so that wasn't so good. I was a bit self-conscious eating it. <laughs> I think Philippe has just mm -hmm. pulled it out the back. <laughs> He's done really mm, well. I, I don't think so. I never feel I do well enough, ever. I'm too much of a, like, you know, oh, fuss pot. And you're about to find out how fussy your guests were. Philippe and Trish need 27 or more to snatch victory from leaders Rachel and Mark. Definitely quite mm -hmm. a lot better than a 10. It's not say. that much better than a 10. It's definitely higher than 14 is where we go above it, how high we go above it. I think it's worth probably 16, 17. No, absolutely no chance. So tonight we'll give Philippe and Trisha a 16. We're giving, giving Philippe, Philippe and, and Trish. Trish. Hold it there! The hosts are about to reveal the winners. Third place is Sue and John! We're in the top three! Yay! <laughs> in second place is Rachel and Mark! Rachel and Mark, Philippe and Trish finish top on 31. Well done, Well done, you're the best ever, and then thanks for your help. You know what you said earlier about sharing it out amongst the three oh, of us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a bit disappointed to come third. What do you think? Uh, no, I think I expected it. Yeah. I thought we said we were going to be more well, better in this argument. No. Nope. Oh, are you serious? No. Nope. Oh, come on. Just I'm not speaking to you because we didn't win. Just because we didn't win. <laughs> No, you can go home now. <laughs> Don't worry, we want to. For more on Come Down With Me, head to the Channel 4 website. There it is, it's on the screen. A new series as Gordon goes there so you don't have to. Troubleshooting the tourist trade with an angry tirade as Ramsey's Hotel Hell returns Tuesday at 10. Well, next tonight, meet the girls who are putting the spring into Springfield and why Marge wants to put a stop to it. The Simpsons on the way.